dear students in this video we are going to learn about construction of angles you know that there is a difference between two words first word is draw and the second word is construct draw meaning you can draw using free hand or you can draw using ruler so when you draw any rough sketch we use the word draw and when we say we are drawing something it is not specific to the dimensions so it can be a rough sketch rough drawing but when we say construct it has to be precise as per the given dimension if we say line segment of length 5 cm we have to construct it it has to be precise if i say draw a line segment ab it can be of any dimension similarly in case of construction of angles here we need to use compass and you know when you fix up a pencil in the compass the tip of the compass and the tip of the pencil should be aligned that is very very important and then you are going to use a ruler so these are basically the construction tools which we used for construction of the angles so today in this session i would be discussing with you construction of angles specifically which are in the multiples of 15 so basically whatever numbers you see in the table of 15 we are going to learn how to construct it so 15 degrees we will see 30 degrees then we see 45 degrees then we see 60 degrees then 75 degrees then we see 90 degrees then 105 degrees then 135 degrees and so on right so and for this we will be using some mathematics also you know how to find the average of two numbers yes if i ask you what is the average of uh, 90 and 60 how will you find it yes this is 90 plus 60 divided by 2 that is 150 divided by 2 that is 75 right so here we will be using this interesting mathematics in the construction of these particular angles which are in the multiples of 15 you see here if we need to construct an angle of 75 degrees then we will be constructing 60 degrees we will be constructing 90 degrees and you see that 75 will be the angle bisector of 60 and 90 i have used the term angle bisector what do we mean by that so angle bisector is basically a ray which bisects the given angle okay so let us start the construction so first of all i am going to draw a line so here i have drawn a line l and then i am taking a point o here now you can set any radius here in the compass and uh, with o as center draw an arc and this arc will intersect the line l at point p and q now can you tell me what will be the measure of this angle yes this angle poq i am talking of this angle poq yes you are right angle poq is 180 degrees because it is an angle on the straight line now you tell me if i bisect this angle if i bisect 180 degrees yes we will be getting 
90 degrees. So we will be using this concept for uh, bisecting 180 degrees and getting an angle of 90 degrees. Let us see how we do this. So for bisecting this angle POQ first with Q as center and I open this arc to a radius more than half of yes you can see this and then we'll be drawing an arc like this similarly with ps center and same radius i am drawing an arc like this and interestingly you will see this point of intersection let this point of intersection be m if i join om and extend it to form a ray om dash then this angle m dash o q this will be 90 degrees similarly m dash o p on the left side will be 90 degrees see how interestingly we have constructed an angle of 90 degrees how we have done this we have bisected 180 degrees what is the other way of constructing 90 degrees let us have a look at it for constructing an angle of 90 degrees we can use another method so let us first draw the line l and then i am going to mark a point o with suitable radius and o as center I will be drawing an arc which will intersect the line L at points P and Q and then with the same radius and Q as center if I cut this arc this will give me an angle of 60 degrees similarly if I put let me mark this uh, point also. Let this point be R. With R as center and same radius, draw another arc on the previous arc. And let this point be S. And this will give us an angle of 120 degrees. Let us first complete it. So join OR. And extend it to R dash. So we see that R dash O Q will be 60 degrees. I am writing here angle R dash O Q will be 60 degrees. And if I join O S and extend it to S dash to form a ray O S dash. Then angle S dash. O Q S dash O Q will be 120 degrees. Now you see here make a beautiful observation. This angle P O Q which is on the straight line is 180 degrees. So when we have taken these two arcs on this previous arc it has cut this into three equal parts. So angle R O R dash O Q is 60 degrees. Angle S dash O Q is 120 degrees. And you see this center angle also. Angle S dash O R dash. I am writing here. Angle S dash O R dash is also 60 degrees. This center angle. Right. And angle S dash O P. I am writing these are extra observations which you have to visualize S dash O P this is also 60 degrees right now we have to construct an angle of 90 degrees now you see I told you we will be using a beautiful mathematics now if you see if I bisect I am writing here bisect if I bisect 60 degrees and 90 this 120 degrees so 60 degrees plus 
120 degrees divided by 2. So basically this is um, average of these two numbers. So 60 plus 120 by 2 that is 180 by 2 and that gives us 90 degrees. So we are going to bisect 60 degrees and 120 degrees. So let us see how we do this. With R as center and radius more than half of SR. This SR. We draw an arc. Similarly with S as center and the same radius. We draw another arc intersecting the previous arc. At point. Here I am marking this point as T. So when we join OT. And extend it to the point T dash. Then angle T dash O Q will be 90 degrees. Similarly angle T dash O P will also be 90 degrees. Interesting. So there are see two methods of constructing an angle of 90 degrees. First we have bisected. 180 degrees, I am writing here, bisect 180 degrees, this is one way. So, when we bisect 180 degrees, we get 90 degrees. Second is, when we bisect 60 and 120, then also we get 90 degrees. Right, so now you tell me, if I have to get an angle of 30 degrees, tell me, what you are going to do to get an angle of 30 degrees I am writing here uh, we will be doing 15 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees 75 degrees 90 degrees 105 135 and 150 we will go up to this ok 60 we have done Right, 90 we have done. Okay, then uh, 120 degrees we have done. Right, and then tell me if I have to get an angle of 30 degree, what should I do? Yes, for getting an angle of 30 degrees, Get 60 degrees. This is step 1. Construct 60 degrees and then bisect it. Simple. So when you bisect 60 degrees, you get 30 degrees. Okay, nice. 45 degrees. How will you get 45 degrees? What will be the first step? Step 1 will be, yes, you get 90 degrees. Now you know how to get 90 degrees. I have shared with you the process. Yes, you get 180 or then go to 90 or you get 60, 120 and then go to 90. It's your choice. So step 1 is get 90 degrees and then bisect it and you get 45 degrees. Interesting. Okay, now you tell me if I have to get 15 degrees. What should I do? Ah, now you have got the clue. You get 60 degrees, you get 30 degrees and then bisect it. When you bisect th 30 degrees, you get 15 degrees. Interesting. Okay, now coming to 105 degrees. How will you get 105 degrees? This is interesting. How will you get 105 degrees? Yes, first you get 90 degrees. Then you get 120 degrees. So what is 90 plus 120? 90 plus 120? Yes, it is. 210 degrees and then you bisect it. 210 divided by 2, that gives you 105 degrees. So what, what is the step? You get 90 degrees. Then step 2, you get 120 degrees and then you bisect it. This is the process for 105. 
Do you want to see that? Okay, I'll do that for you. So, let us first, now we are learning how to construct 105 degrees. Step 1, we are going to draw a line L and then we will mark a point O on it. Now, we will be constructing an angle of uh, 90 degrees. For that, first we draw an arc which cuts the line L at point P and Q. Then we get 60 degrees. We get 120 and then we get 90 I hope you remember this now. So here we have constructed array OT such that angle TOQ is 90 degrees. Now you see that here this ray OM is constructed in such a way that angle MOQ is 120 degrees. Now observe these two points. Here I am writing L and here I am writing N. So now with L as center and radius more than half of NL. Draw an arc. Similarly, with N as center and same radius, draw another arc intersecting the previous arc. Now, using this point of intersection, draw an arc, draw a ray and here I am naming this as Z. So, angle Z O Q is 105 degrees. See how we have done. 105 is bisector of 90 degrees and 120 degrees. I told you, told you earlier also 90 degrees plus 120 degrees divided by 2. So that is 210 degrees divided by 2 and that gives us 105 degrees. This is how we have done. Okay, coming back to the previous discussion, uh, let me take you to this. 15 degrees we have done, that is bisector of 30, 30 is bisector of 60, 45 we have done, 45 is bisector of 90 and uh, now 75. Tell me how you are going to do 75 degrees. How will you do 75? Yes, for 75 you make 60 degrees and then you make 90 degrees and then bisect it. You get an angle of 75 degrees. I hope you can do this now. 105 we have seen. Now tell me how you will do this uh, 150 and 135. Think and tell. How will you do? How you are going to do 135 degrees and 150 degrees? Two things. Let it be a homework for you. 135 degrees and 150 degrees. How will you do this? Think and tell. How will you do 135 degree and how will you do 150 degrees? All you are going to use the things which you have constructed. Keep trying. 